Hi everybody, I'm Gabriel Bianco and welcome to Tonebase for this uh, tutorial video. I'm very happy to be with you guys today. And uh, we're gonna uh, now have an overview on the Mauro Giuliani study number five, Opus 48. Uh, it is a study that I play for a long time. I, I practiced this uh, when I was a kid. And I, you know, uh, since I, I, I teach to professional levels, I felt that it's a very interesting study to work on some very specific technical things, and it's what we're going to, to see now. All right, so we're going to first talk about the arpeggio. As you can say, uh, this is, I think, a very basic arpeggio that we should all know well. Uh, also, I think it's a good arpeggio to practice a little bit every day because it uses all the fingers and it's uh, very good to find your right positioning. So I like actually nowadays to play this study a little bit every day. When I start practicing, I think it's great for warming up Let's have a closer look to the arpeggio. Uh, so we have B, I, M, A, and then back. So if you are really a beginner, I will suggest you to first work without the, the left hand, uh, just the right hand to, to learn well the movement, because it's important to do a little bit of anticipation when you learn this arpeggio that you don't you know, this sort of movements that you can have a closer look to your right hand. Then once you handle it, let's say, I will propose you two, way, two ways of practicing this arpeggio. I like uh, actually on arpeggios to work with preparation and without preparation, but not for the same purpose. Usually when I start an arpeggio, I need to find the control of it. So. For that, I will use a lot the preparation, which means... For example, I play P and the I is placed already when I plucked the string. Be very precise, don't do after, like I'm doing now and I'm not doing it well, uh, unpurposed, right? Uh, if you do this, you're not really doing a preparation, it won't be very controlled. So I ask you first to really be placed when you pluck. This takes a little bit of time to handle. Of course, be careful that you stay relaxed when you do that and that you don't uh, especially uh, create tensions there or on the shoulder. Um, I like also to work with preparation on different speeds, just in order to have control. And regularity. So that's how I usually work when I play an arpeggio. First, I work with preparation uh, and I work a lot with preparation to have it very stable and to have it also uh, very well balanced, you know, sound wise. Um, when this is controlled, I, I like to work on this arpeggio without the preparation. So as you can see, I'm not preparing on the string, but I'm playing it immediately. So my finger does only one movement like that and not with a little preparation like this. So I like, I would like you to try both and work a little bit with both techniques. 
For me, what works is when I need control, when I feel that I miss stability and I miss regularity, I will work with preparation. And when I, me I feel, when I feel that I miss speed, I will work um, without preparation. So that's, I think, the base, uh, the basic thing that you should first practice. And um, you know, prior to playing the study, it's nice maybe to do, I don't know, two three minutes with each technique with different speeds, just that you, that you feel it. 